Okay, how are we doing out there today? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection technology gain times two. Now, one of the things I'm gonna talk about really quick, I've gotten a few comments here and there by somebody saying, well, what is the point of me going out and spending $289 for a quart of your screen paint? When I can go out and get myself a projection screen for around 100 inch for around maybe two or $300. Well, I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Number one, you're not gonna get the same quality as our screens. Keep in mind, we do demonstrations on levels that other people will not do. Fully lit environments, lights hitting right in front of the screen, just shows you in our demonstrations, if I can use my screen in a fully lit environment, that means the bottom line, you could do the same thing also. Now keep in mind, I've done literally so many videos with the lights on, I've had people actually come at me and complain about turning the lights off. That should tell you something right there. Anytime somebody gets so many emails by saying, please turn the lights out, please turn the lights out, that just shows you exactly how majority of our videos have the lights on. Now usually when you get some of these screens, like I said, entry level. Now, I'm gonna explain to you about entry level. When you get a screen like, let's say, a certain product, a certain screen, name brand screen, and they have like entry levels. They have the economy, which is either white, which is a white screen. Then they have the mid-level, which is pretty much a print of a light silver or light gray. And then they'll have the more darker screens, which would be a little bit more expensive, two to $3,000 for these other screens. Now, you say you're saving a buck, you go out and you buy this low entry level screen and then to find out that when you get home, the color doesn't pop, contrast is poor, and majority of most people are using their screens now in place of TVs. They wanna be able to use it in a fully lit environment. Keep in mind, as I said before, there is no way in the world I could have a 146 inch screen in my living room if my wife had to be subjected to the dark all day long. It'd be a TV in there. And I don't want nieces and nephews and friends coming over. Super Bowl season's coming up. Actually, football season is upon us. And I don't want my friends subjected to a dark environment because if I turn on the lights, the screen is going to suffer. Now, as I said before, take the time, go out, look on the internet, see how many people are doing demonstrations on our level, and then get back to us. Now, as I said before, also too many times, if majority of those videos are done in the dark, it just shows you that the high points of that screen, the best ability of that screen, has to be done with the lights out. And that's where you're going to be sitting at. Now, to show you some of the demonstrations that our screens do, I have my two lights right here. I'm going to put them against the screen. Also, too, in the demonstration, I'm going to show you that there is no difference between the roll-on or the spray-on. Now, we combine it both together so the screen paint has the ability to be, to do, be rolled on or sprayed on. It's up to you. And also, too, like I said, you can roll on your pre-existing projection screens or fixed range screens or just coat it right onto your wall, which I have right here. All right, so this is the environment I'm used to seeing because usually when a lot of these high-end screens, I never see them with the same kind of lighting that we're using. And you keep in mind, I've had people come at me saying, well, what's the point of buying yours when I can get this screen right here? Because if you had, if Elite Screens or DMP Supernova or any of them high-end companies had this technology to be to do what this screen can do, how much do you think you'd be paying for it? Not 400 bucks or not five. All right, so first things first, I'll show you where the projector's sitting. My projector is 13 feet away from the screen. And I'm gonna show you the lighting that most people, that you're seeing a lot of demonstrations. So some people consider this to be ambient light rejection. So for them, this is an ambient light rejection screen. This is not ambient light rejection, I'm sorry. As I said before, many times the wall tells the story. Now, like I said, if you're watching a video and they show a the lights on for a couple minutes or for a few minutes here and there, and then the majority of that 90% out of 100, 80% of that is done in the dark, that's the high point of that screen. Now, let me show you on our end how we do things on our end. Let me go back here and push the video back a little bit. I want you to look at how much light is in contact with the screen. Got overhead light here, light here, got light there. Projector sits back 13 feet from the screen, fully lit environment. I can walk anywhere I want in this environment and that screen is gonna show up. That just tells my customers that they can have their screen in a fully lit environment and they don't have to worry about the screen washing out or fading. Now let's come over here. I'm gonna grab the motorized, just the motorized up in here. Bring that down. I 
Now the motor eyes were sprayed and the wall was rolled on. Do that halfway, like so. Come back just a minute. Got a bit of loading time going on in there. You see, there's no difference. screen I can come all the way to the side like so and see the screen perfectly now the motorized screen when I got it was around 250 bucks it was a white screen now the reason why some people say well I can go and get a motorized screen for hundred dollars so there's a difference between this screen and a hundred dollar motorized screen this is actually a tension screen now the reason why a tension screen is better than any roll down screen, and I'll tell you why, is because a tension screen will make sure the screen lays flat every time it comes out of that freaking motor, out of that case. When you're dealing with a screen that doesn't have, it's not tension, the problem you have is the screen will curve on the edges and it causes a ripple effect in the screen and that distorts the picture. So even at 250 bucks, just for 169, that's what that screen would cost me if it was white. Now if it was name brand, probably cost me around six hundred dollars if it was coated with this kind of formula oh man probably cost me about three grand easily now come over here for a minute Set my phone so you see both screens are exactly the same. And this is everyday lighting. This is the kind of lighting our screens are used to going through. This is everyday lighting. For some people, they consider this to be extreme lighting. This is not extreme lighting, this is everyday lighting. So I can stick my screen in any environment, it's gonna thrive. You've seen it upstairs? Actually upstairs I have it sprayed, so it's sprayed on blackout cloth upstairs. Upstairs in the gaming room is rolled on. Cakewalk. Easy. Very easy for this technology. Very, very easy. You know, like I said, some people feel that ambient light projection is a little light here in the corner here, and a little light in the corner here. Like I said, look at the background of the wall. The background of the wall tells the, tells the entire story on what this screen can do and how much ambient light the screen can take in. This is painted directly on drywall. There's no priming involved, no sanding involved. You just paint right over top of it, you're done. Whatever is color of the surface may be, red, blue, orange, green, whatever, roll over it and you're done. So if it's that easy for the screen to produce an image in a foyer environment, with the lights out. This is easy. 
Like I said, anyone can make a screen look incredible with the lights on. Very easy to do. But you gotta ask yourself, to get a picture quality to look this good, do you want to be subjected in the dark because of it? Alright, so let's come over here and let's grab uh, this one right here. And this demonstration upstairs, screen being hit with around 800 watts of light. So we got 200 watt light bulbs. We got the overhead lights. And this is why the screens deserve to have the name ambient light projection. Now our screen paint will allow you to paint a screen. I think the kit, smallest kit we have is one quart, which is 100, I'm sorry, $289. With that, you can coat any surface you want, turn any screen you want into an ambient light projection screen. You can use your screen in a fully lit environment without just worrying about the screen washing out or fading. Fully weatherproof. 4K, that's the ViewSonic PX747, 4K and 3D ready. I've done this on short though upstairs in the gaming room. Look at this. Doesn't fade, doesn't wash out. Just to show you how much light is hitting the screen, I'm gonna block the projector right here and just show you. This is how much light is nailing the screen right there. Now see, some people when they do this demonstration would do it like this. It's not enough light in the environment. It has to be more light. It has to be nice and bright in here. That overhead light, I love that light. Nice and bright. All right, I gotta go here. I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. And just to show you exactly the difference between our technology and what's out there on the market, our screen paint is now roll on and spray on. This is the new containers right here. Roll on and spray on. You decide you want to spray the screen. You can spray it if you want to roll it. You want to roll it. It's up to you. You can apply it to just about any surface you could possibly think of. Screens do not crack, do not peel, and are fully weatherproof. And like I said, 3D, 4K, 3D and 4K ready. They work with long throws, short throws, and ultra short throws. Like I said, you can go out and spend $400 for a screen that's only going to be about 100 inches. With our screen paint, you have the option to paint 100 to 120 inch. And you can use the screen in a fully lit environment. All right, thank you all for your time. And also, too, as I said at the, at the last minute, I'm about to say, at the last minute, I'm about to say, sorry about that. Take your time, go out there and do the research and see how many people are doing demonstrations on this level. And then you get back with us. Thank you all for your time.